Speaker and the security agencies tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. And allow me, Honorable Speaker, to take this opportunity to invite the leadership of the minority, um, uh, the entire leadership, and that of the majority party. And of course, your uh, Honorable Speaker, you will be chairing that meeting. And the chair and the vice chair of the security committee in a meeting with the inspector general of police and those other uh, security agencies on the issue that was raised by the member for Kabuchai, because it's a critical issue, Honorable Speaker, as we get into this. Lastly, Honorable Speaker, you've spoken about the Book of Acts. Honorable Speaker, I listened to you on Sunday, the Book of Mark. And I listened to you on Sunday, Honorable Speaker, and maybe it's something the Honorable Kipchumba should also have listened to, the other bit of what you said on Sunday. That knocking your head against a wall is not bravado. It is sheer stupidity. <laughs> and Honorable Speaker, I saw the media take that of, out of context. Just like Honorable Speaker, a few Sundays ago, Bishop Njiriri of Stewart's Church read from the book of Acts 28 that speaks about the viper that was on Paul's hand. And when I also spoke about that viper and how you should shake it off so that you allow your hand to do that which the Lord has purposed to, uh, to, to that hand to do. Honorable Speaker, I saw people saying, that there are people who have been called snakes. In fact, I have seen some people claiming that they are the snake without anybody calling them a snake. Bishop Njiriri did not write the Bible. The father you have spoken about in Machakos County never wrote the Bible. We are just good Christians who love peace and who love this country. Therefore, let me just finish by telling Honorable Kipchumba there is no bravado in hitting your head against a wall. It is sheer stupidity, as quoted by the Honorable Speaker Moses Wetangula Esquire. Yes, Karoli, the last.